Hi there, my name is Adam Davidson, owner of Dental Digital. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can explode your patient base in 2024. If you own a dentist and you're looking for more patients, you'd like a lot more patients coming in from January, you'd like to grow and potentially double what you've done this year, and you're looking for lots of new patients coming in consistently to your practice, again, from January. If you're in a position where you would like more Invisalign patient, more aligner patients, more composite bonding patients, more veneer patients, and you know, just in general, you're looking for more patients coming in to your practice, you'd like to be known more in your local area for the treatments that you offer and again you'd like a consistent flow of new business coming into your practice from January 2024 in this video I'm going to show you how you can do that exactly and how you can start right now and start booking yourself in consultations already for January February etc okay so in the background here I've created a presentation on how you can do this I have sort of glazed over all of the points here and I will go more in depth into the points as I go through the slides by the end of this video this should give you a good idea on what you need to be doing to stand out in your local area that's going to bring you in lots and lots and lots of new patients compared to 2023, okay? So as you can see here in the background, it says how to book another 20 plus pre-qualified Invisalign and implant consultations to your diary every single month from January 2024. So at the moment, like I said, if you would like more consultations coming in for whether it's Invisalign or implants, now I mentioned Invisalign and implants on this slide, but I also am talking about other services as well, bonding, veneers, whatever it is you would you'd like to grow. If you are in a position where you would like people coming in consistently who already know the price, they already can't, they're already interested in having the treatment, okay, then I'm gonna show you how you can do that, all right? So as you can see here in the background, before before I get into this, this is for dentists who want to grow their private patient base fast from January. Now, if you're just sort of, uh, so if you're in the UK and you offer NHS, this isn't anything for that specifically, it's mainly for just private treatments. And you can see here below, for treatments such as Invisalign, aligners, bonding, veneers, facial, facial aesthetics, implants, dental plans, etc. So anything private. If you're not currently getting at least, and this is important to understand, okay, so if you're currently not getting at least 20 plus new patient booking consultations every single month for Invisalign implants, or again, any of those other treatments I mentioned, you are missing out. If you've gone this year where you've kind of been waiting for referrals to come in, or you've been wanting to grow Invisalign or implants or whatever treatment it may be, but you're just waiting referrals, you're waiting on walk-ins, you're waiting on website inquiries, but really you're in a position where you can grow. Well, if you're not seeing an extra at least 20 plus new people coming through to your practice every single month on top of what you already get, then you are missing out massively because the demand is out there. You just need to get noticed in your area, which I'm going to show you how you can do. Okay, so in this slide here, so how can you do this right now and how can you kickstart your practice's growth into the new year. Now I've listed out nine points here, okay, which I'm going to go over each and every one of them. But the first point is the very, very basics. Use Google, Facebook, and Instagram to advertise your services. If you're not doing that, again, you are missing out on huge amounts of patients because most of your potential patients in the future, whether they take up an implant treatment with you, whether they, uh, let's say, go ahead with Invisalign or whatever it may be, implants or bonding, most likely that person searched for you on Google or searched implants in your area on Google or they found you on Facebook and Instagram, or they use Facebook and Instagram daily, okay? So your next new patient, someone who hasn't come from a referral, or someone who's not a walk-in, or not come from your website, they most likely search for implants on Google and just picked one of the links, or they just scroll down Facebook and Instagram every single day and they saw maybe a post or something like that. Okay, so basically what I'm trying to say is all of your potential patients in the future are on these platforms. However, most dentists do not advertise on these platforms. Okay, they do not use them to their advantage. You need to advertise. If you want to get more patients, you want to get out there in front of the masses of people, you need to advertise your services through Google, Facebook and Instagram. Now you don't have to do all free. It depends on what your goals are and what it is you're looking to achieve, but it's going to be one of these areas. This is how you're going to reach the masses of people in your area and surrounding areas, and this is how you're gonna get noticed. Okay, that's number one. Now, number two is when once you've decided to, let's say, do that, you've decided to run a Facebook or an Instagram promotion, you need to target your local area and surrounding areas that you want new patients from. So you probably have a good idea of where the quality patients are located, where patients with, let's say, money are located to spend. Um, you will know that, okay? You, you, you will know the best places to target when it comes to when you're gonna advertise your campaign. So you need to make a list of those and then 
Facebook and Instagram allows you to target those areas. And again, there's so, so many people on Facebook and Instagram, Google as well, who are searching. You're talking hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people here who you could get in front of. Now, the dentists that I work with who get consistent new business every single month for Invisalign implants, and I've taken dentists from small-time Invisalign providers to diamond Invisalign providers very, very quickly, from small-time implant providers to the most popular implant, implant provider in the area, all through Facebook, Instagram, and Google promotions, okay? So this is where you need to be, and you need to be targeting your local area and surrounding areas, which you think is going to work for you. Now, number three, you can see here, so once you've decided to, or on what area you want to promote, best time to promote is right now, okay? And you need to come up with a new year, new smile offer on your services. So every single year for dentists, I always promote an advertisement for them, which is to do with the new year. Uh, so it'll be, you know, new year, new smile, you know, replenish the way that you look, replace missing teeth for 2024, straighten your teeth for the summer in 2024, whatever it may be, again, that the practice wants. The new year is one of the best times to do it. Now, there's a few reasons as to why, which I'll get onto in a moment. One of them is because over the Christmas and New Year period, most people are at home, okay, so they're not at work. Therefore, the engagement on social media goes up. People are spending more time on their phone, more time on their phone, so that means you can reach more people over this period. On top of that, dental competition, generally, advertising competition goes down because most dentists are not working over this period. They don't have someone or they're not running ads at this time, so it's a really good time to stand out. And on top of that, people just have motivations for the new year anyway. They want a fresh start and you can play on that. You can come up again with new year, new smile promotions. You can even create some offers for January that will tie in with the whole January offer approach that most businesses do. And you can get tons and tons of people reserving spots, a spot, a consultation over the two weeks. So let's say over the Christmas period and the new year period. And then you can just carry on that promotion throughout the whole of January, February, et cetera, and change it as you go, as you go on. Okay. So that's that. Number five is use a simple lead form, type form, or landing page to capture people's information. So once you create your advertisement, you've come up with your offer for the new year. Now you're going to be reaching hundreds of thousands of people. Okay. So you need to send these people somewhere in order for them to put their information in. Okay. You need to actually have a destination in which these people go to, to put their name, number and email in so they can, they can become an official inquiry. Okay. Now the way that you can do that is either through a lead form on Facebook and Instagram. I won't go over that, over that here. I have another video which you can watch, which goes over completely how to create a Facebook and Instagram lead form. But just to give you a quick overview as to what that is, a Facebook and Instagram lead form it's basically a little form that you can create to go alongside your advertisement. So once someone clicks on your advert, there will be a small form that will come up on their Facebook and Instagram page. They can then fill in their information there. And once they do that, you will receive that information so you can contact them and book them in. Now, number two is a type form. So you can use the type form questionnaire. I'm going to show you this here in the background. So this is an example of a type form questionnaire. These are great to promote things like implants or specific offers because you can qualify people. You can ask people questions. You can make sure that they understand what they're actually inquiring for or you can get more information about their situation so this is a perfect example uh, or an example of a type form for an implant campaign again it's just an example where people when, when they hit this they go for a whole bunch of questions about how many teeth they're missing let's say also goes in in depth on um have they ever had a dental implant before for example it goes right in depth on this i mean i won't go over each and every question here but you can pause the video and look at each question these are just example questions but the goal of this is to qualify people and to make sure we're only getting the most highest quality inquiries coming from through. And even on this type form, you can really go over the pricing so they understand the pricing. You can even go over things like would they rather finance or would they rather pay up front? You can go into things like the booking deposits. So in order for them to turn up, you need to be taking deposits. So you can confirm that with them here. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do. And then lastly, you can get their name, number and email. You can then link that up to yourself and get all of that information when people come through. Now, another example, like I said, is the landing page. So a landing page is a separate way to get someone's information. This is when someone clicks on your advert. They then go through a specific page that you can create for that specific offer. So let's say you're running an Invisalign offer. Okay, this is an example of a real landing page that I used for one of my clients or was using in the past. This here in the background basically gives the person everything they need to know about the offer that they, you're offering for Invisalign, for example. It also goes over the pricing. It goes over the different bite types that it can treat, the before and afters. It goes over the about us section. There's a whole range of stuff that you need on a landing page. But really the point of this is that you can get quality inquiries. People who know what the offer is, they know what the price is, and they know that you're a credible dentist. And if you do that and you run that alongside or, or as part of a really good Facebook and Instagram advert, let's say, or a Google advert, you can get lots and lots and lots of people coming through the page, converting, putting their name, number and email in, you know, uh, qualifying themselves basically. Now, just to show you an example of what 
what that kind of looks like. This here in the background is the analytics of one of the dentists that I'm working with who are promoting Invisalign. Now these guys have been promoting Invisalign for about six months. In that six months time, they've had 332 inquiries through their landing page. And we can literally see what these people are putting in. You can see this every single day. So these are the comments that they're leaving. I'm not going to show you obviously their name, number and email for patient, um, you know, for, for obviously pr privacy reasons. But when they're leaving their, fa their name, number and email, they're also leaving a, a comment about what their situation is and when they're looking for treatment. You can see here the question we're actually asking them on the landing page is please describe your current situation and what you'd like to achieve with Invisalign. And they get people coming through every single day. They had someone come through today saying teeth are crowded, would like them to be straighter and they're looking for treatment within three months. They had, so I had someone yesterday or someone come through as a kid, I had braces on top but not bottom. Tops aren't too bad but when, uh, but they've moved around so would like uh, like them to get back to normal basically. Bottoms are worse, etc. Right. So I won't go right into it but you can see here, I'm just going to scroll down. Again, you can pause the video if you want to. These are people coming through literally every single day from their local area, people inquiring with this practice specifically. Now I could show you lots of examples like this for implants and other treatments, but I don't want to keep this video too long. I just want to give you the overview on how to do this. But this is what's possible with a landing page or a type form. You can get consistent, highly qualified people who are coming through every single day. And by the way, these people already know the price. They're super interested. Okay, so that's um, it's, it's proven to be a game changer for this practice. They've had a huge Invisalign uptake since they started doing this. So moving on from those those points there about uh, you know running people to a type form landing page or a lead form, so you need to consider sending people to an online booking link. So once someone fills in their information on a landing page or a type form, then that's great, right? You will receive their information and then it's your job to contact them to book them in. And there's ways to do that more efficiently than others. If you do it properly, you should be booking in around 70% on average of booking in leads to consultations, okay? However, you also may benefit if you have an online booking link, you can also put that in on your landing pages or your type form. So if someone becomes a lead, they put their information in, you can then direct them to book their own slot online. So it saves you chasing up that inquiry. Now, not everyone will do that because some people will want to speak to someone first before they do that, and that's fine. However, it may get the odd person doing it. So let's say you get 10 leads, you, three of them may book their own slot. Seven of them you may need to call, speak to first because to build up that trust to book them in. Okay, that's just an example, but it's something you can think about doing because I've seen it be very, very beneficial for dentists who have done that. Okay. Now, number seven, for small makeovers and new Invisalign patients, consider running an open day event at the end of January. Okay, so Invisalign and small makeovers really work well in an open day type of format. So you could, for example, run a new year, new small January open day for Invisalign, where on that one day, you come up with a really, really good offer, you know, that's based around January or whatever it may be based around a new year. And then you can run that promotion from just after Christmas all the way throughout the new year. Okay, and all the way throughout January and completely book out the whole day. I've just booked out a few different open days for dentists recently, not yet the new year ones, because obviously it's yet to come. But earlier in the year, or not earlier, a few months ago, multiple open days I've booked out using the type form method and had people book their own slot on the day, of which lots of practices I'm working with. One had 12 people on the day go ahead, another had 10 people on the day go ahead, another one had like 14 people over the weeks. So once they had, I think it had 10 people on the day and another four people over the weeks cut go ahead with Invisalign. So the Invisalign open day is very, very good. Now you can run an open day event at the end of January. The further in January, the better because it gives you more time to promote the open day and book out the day completely, okay? And have lots and lots of new patients go ahead on that one day. It's just an example. Now you can either do that or you can just do a generic campaign throughout January that runs at all times so people can just claim the offer throughout January or you can do it as an open day. So it's really up to you, okay? Now, number eight is train your team on how best to contact and follow up the leads. Won't go into that here, but there is a video on my YouTube how to actually contact and follow up with these leads properly so you can maximize the amount of booking you get from the leads. And then number nine is just rinse and repeat throughout the whole month of the year, every month of the year, sorry. So this isn't just for the new year. The new year is really good to kickstart off 2024, okay? Because there's a lot of people at home, you can create huge amounts of buzz. But using that momentum, you can do the same thing going into February. You can then create Valentine's Day offers. You can create going into March, Easter, spring, etc. You can do the same thing every single month throughout the summertime. You can be summer offers for composite bonding so people can fix up their teeth quickly before they go on holiday. You can do the whole thing throughout the whole year and rinse and repeat the program process. This is how the dentists are doing it. They're basically just advertising using the same model, but they're just rinsing and repeating it every single month and bringing themselves in lots and lots and lots of new patients, okay? Now, 
last but not least is how to get pre-qualified high quality leads and avoid time wasters. Now I've kind of touched on that already, but there's a few things, a few fundamentals you want to make sure that it's included in your campaigns. Okay. Number one is you want to be transparent with pricing on your ads, lead forms, type forms, and landing pages. If someone inquires with you who knows the price already, they're most like they are most likely very interested. So what you want to do is you want to give people a ballpark figure of somewhat what the price is. Let's say it's Invisalign you're promoting. Before they become a lead, you want them to acknowledge that let's say your Invisalign pricing is let's say 3,500, for example. Okay. You want them to somewhat acknowledge that even if it could change depending on their situation, you want to give them a ballpark figure. Otherwise you'll get people coming in not knowing what the price is at all. And then when you chuck thousands of pounds at them, let's say that kind of throws them off. You want to have a ballpark figure on what it is you want to put on there. Also, you want to put on there 0% finance, or if you do offer finance, what that would look like monthly. Okay. How much would they expect to pay monthly? And you can do from amounts and all that kind of stuff, but you want to be transparent and give people People, like I said, a ballpark figure on what they can look for, what they can kind of expect. If you do that, you're going to get people turning up, knowing where, you know, what, again, what sort of figure they're looking at. And it's down to you to sell that person. Okay. But like I said, it's going to give you a much, much, much higher quality, much, much higher quality leads coming through. Now, also the number two is you want to take holding deposits up front to ensure their attendance at the consultation. Okay. Now, a lot of people, otherwise you'll get a lot of no-shows. If you're just booking people in for a free consult, then people just won't turn up. You can still, I still recommend offering a free consultation. Okay. Because because you definitely don't want people just paying money they can't get back to go to an open day, let's say, for example, or to, to, to let's say come in for a consultation because it can throw people off because there's not that trust yet built. But you can still have a free consultation. But however, I would suggest charging a deposit uh, up front, like 20, 25, 30 pounds to get them to secure their uh, spot. Okay, to make sure that basically make sure that they turn up. Okay, and you can say that to them. They're fully, they, they will be fully okay with that as long as you tell them that. Now, also, number three is add any T's and C's to the ads. So, for example, if you're only, if the offer is only valid if they are suitable for treatment um, or if they have a check, a checkup first or something like that, right? Depends. You may have little things you need to put in there. Number four is consider using book online links. Like I said already, if someone books their own slot online, they're going to be a very, very high qualified person because they're clearly, they're literally doing out of their own will. They are spending money online to book a slot. Okay. And number five is ask qualification questions. Ask these people what their situation is, what their financial situation is. Let them ask them, you know, uh, on the landing pages, on your type forms, ask them, would they be likely to go for finance or were they paying full? What's the reason for stopping you going ahead with treatment before? What's the situation with your teeth? All of this stuff you can go over to get the best, best quality leads. Now, that's it from me. Um, I'll try to keep this as quick as possible. However, if you ha do have any questions, let me know. This is what you need to do, okay? If you do want lots of new patients coming in, you need to have this, okay? And you need to basically have campaigns out there that's gonna have you stand out just by following this. And if you do it correctly, you could have 40, 50, 60 plus people by the end of January all inquiring of your practice for that specific treatment you're promoting. Okay, so for any questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you.